Thank you so much for staying tuned. I still have my guest with me here in the studio, but right now I want to take a look at the Federal Character Commission uh, questions arising. Now, uh, according to some reports, they're supposed to have at least more of than uh, uh, 20 commissioners, you know, from each state being represented at least 36 or thereabouts. But as it stands right now, the Federal Character Commission, they have just one commissioner. And people like wondering, uh, the Federal Character Commission in Nigeria, if they are still operational, if they are operational, how come complaints upon complaints from various Nigerians are not being adhered to? Some of the opinion that the Federal Character is not being put into consideration when it's time to give office or to grant appointment. And some of the opinion that we should focus more on the well-being or will I say integrity or the technical know-how of these individuals rather than placing it on region or regional sentiments. Yeah, it's all about the Federal Credit Commission and the question emanating from that background. I need to hear what they ought to do or the been overreading by circumstances and situation. What can be done to put them right back in the map so they can do all they can do to make sure that Nigeria feel the impact of why this commission was set up. Talking about federal character in terms of appointments and all that. Well, let me start off from you, Barrister. Uh, uh, I mean, allow about what is really going on. Talking about the Federal Character Commission, are they really operational? Are they really functional? Are they really being considered when appointments are to be made in the country in this present administration? Thank you very much. I think we start from the issue of uh, <coughs> the the principle of the federal character itself. Mm. Now, we attained independence in 1960, and after attaining independence, as you can see in this country, we have uh, over 200 uh, ethnic, ethnic uh, minorities. And uh, in order to assuage the feelings of these uh, over 200 uh, minorities, uh, the federal character principle was inserted in the 1979 uh, Constitution. Mm -hmm. The Federal Provision, Section 143, says yeah. that the composition of government or the federation of the composition of government or the federation or any of its agencies and the conduct of its affairs shall be carried out in such a manner as to reflect the federal character of Nigeria and the need to promote national unity and also to command national loyalty, thereby ensuring that there shall be no predominance of persons from a few states or from a few ethnic or other sectional groups in that government or in any of its agencies. Now, all is to ensure that because for now we have 36 states, we have about 768 local government areas, we have over 250 ethnic groups in Nigeria. And then to ensure that the ethnic minorities all have sense of belonging in the country called Nigeria. Talking of national unity, national loyalty, that is why this principle of federal character came in. And of course, uh, that led us to the federal character Commission, all is to ensure equitable distribution of offices and, of course, resources as well in the country. And in order to ensure that this is achieved, uh, that, that explains why when you look at the uh, ministerial uh, appointments, uh, for example, that one is provided for uh, under Section uh, 147 of the Constitution, that the appointments of ministers shall reflect the federal character of Nigeria. The president shall appoint at least one minister from each state who shall be an indigent of such states. And we look at other appointments, section 1715, that appointment of the offices 
of the secretary to the government, head of service, ambassadors, permanent secretaries shall have regard to federal capital. All this to ensure that there is a uh, equity in the distribution of the offices and appointments. Uh, now, the Federal Character Commission, in order for it to actually ensure the equitable distribution of uh, uh, of uh, the national cake, let me use that word now, uh, need to be properly constituted. It needs to be properly constituted in order to carry out its, uh, its constitutional mandate. If it's not properly constituted, then of course there will be a problem. All right. If it's not properly constituted, there will be a problem. From your own assessment right now, is it properly constituted? Are they doing what they ought to do or they've been overridden by circumstances or situations prevalent in the country? For me, I would want to suppose that uh, the essence of the Federal Character Commission has not been fully achieved. Although there are rooms for improvement over the time. I want to believe that the U.S. sense from the beginning is to ensure that the geographical spread is such that everyone feels a sense of belonging in a working system. Such that once you feel satisfied, your geographical sp spread feels satisfied, my feel satisfied, we feel we belong to the same country. And from hence, we do all we can to make the country survive and improve. Mm -hmm. But I do not want to think that that has been the case because there are so many complaints here and there showing disaffection and dissatisfaction amongst Nigerians. But again, we do not expect a perfect system, considering the fact that, oh, when we talk about merit, when we talk about availability, when we talk about willingness to improve the system, obviously we'll have some challenges here and there. But in my view, I think the government need to continually work and overhaul the Federal Character Commission to ensure that reasonably everyone should go to sleep to feel that ah, we are being uh, uh, carried along. Like even in the justice system, they say it is not just for justice to be done, it is also to see that justice has been done. So when justice is done and it is not seen, it appears it has not been done. So the government has a responsibility to ensure that they so position the system such that everybody will have a sense of belonging, believing that justice has been done from what they have seen so far or what they have heard so far. But I think the President uh, Muhammad Buhari led government has to do a lot because from the way things are going now, most of us are already believing or making the, 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 the consensus of the fact that, oh, the government is being run pro a particular geographical region. And it is not in the best interest of the country. Because once that argument continues to hold sway, you begin to see that there's acrimony, dissatisfaction, disaffection amongst the Nigerian populace. So anyhow, the government has to ensure although without not being deceptive, reasonable honesty, and uh, making the facts obvious for us to see, to ensure that Nigerians come to the terms that their, their geographical regions have been properly represented in the federal character. Because even when we talk about merit, sometimes merit, they are also subjective. Whether this person is intelligent or not, it's a subjective argument. Therefore, that is why it was now reduced to the legal position to say 
bring out the best that you have from your geographical region. We ensure that this person represents your environment and the system works better for us. So because all these things, as it were, because they relate to the human factor, they have some level of subjectivity. Even the president has his own, his own challenges. Because by the time he begins to feel that, oh, it's all about geographical region, uh, my geographical region, or other people's geographical region, there are still going to be challenges that will crop up from such argument. Mm -hmm. So it is something that we do not expect a perfect situation. We do not expect it. But let it be near reasonable such that anybody can go to sleep and say, I have confidence in my president, I have confidence in the present party in place that they are thinking well for us. In whatever decision they have made, we think that they are taking us to the Edo Eldorado stage. I think that is the what is uh, uh, paramount in the heart of most Nigerians. All right, now from what you can see, from what you can perceive, from what you can tell, the Federal Character Commission, have they, have they been allowed to do the job they ought to do? Before we answer that question, yes. we want to go for a break. After that, we'll continue with the discussion. Do stay tuned. TMI. Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about the Federal Character Commission and of course questions arising. Uh, uh, we were uh, uh, on the point but we had to like go for a break talking about the functionality of the Federal Character Commission. Yes. From your own analysis, are they doing what they ought to do, taking a look at what is going on right now in this dispensation? Thank you very much. Uh, the Federal Character Commission was established in 1996 mm. and uh, the mandate is to ensure equitable formula mm. uh, subject to the approval of the National Assembly to ensure that uh, the post in the public service, the armed forces, the police force and government security agencies are evenly distributed. But you know in Nigeria we have uh, strong individuals we do not have strong institutions and of course this is also affecting the federal character commission for example if the federal character commission recommends xyz for appointment and mr president feels no i've chosen my man i want Wilson to be there how will the commission go about removing Mr. Wilson. And that's why when you have strong individuals, you don't have strong institutions, then of course it will not be easy for the institutions to properly function. But in a leave for a large discussion on the need for immunity for the National Assembly and Judiciary. Mm. Now, if you look at the whole essence of this Federal Character Commission, it is all because we do not have trust and confidence in one another as a nation. There is suspicion, mutual suspicion. And uh, the essence of many people going to governance is not to make sacrifice. Assuming you are going to office to really serve, you may not even need this issue of a federal character or any federal <coughs> character commission. Mm -hmm. And that explains why. In our daily activities, when you want to service your car, you do not consider Federal Character Commission. You go to the mechanic that can properly deliver your service for you. When you want to employ in your own establishment as a proprietor, as an employer of labor, you are looking for those who are qualified, who can perform, who can deliver. If the man from your village cannot deliver, you don't employ him. But when it comes, to the government level, yes, let my man be there. Let the man from my state be there, man from my village be there. And that explains why the Federal Character Commission, no matter how it tries to function, you have impediments. One of them, of course, is the finance. The finance to monitor. Then the political nature of his work is not an easy task at all. Mm. But if so what you're saying is being influenced yes. by politics. Of course. Of course. So 
if Nigerians can play less on where you come from, let us believe in merit and performance. Of course, one thing is paramount. Once you've agreed that this has to be done, then it has to be done. We've agreed that, okay, each minister from each state, it has to be done. Then the key positions, let it be properly spread, it has to be done. That is our agreement. And it has to be carried out that way. Lopsided appointments, as we are witnessing now, is not welcome. When you look at the former three regions, the western region, the eastern region, the northern region, we are based on the major tribes. The west, the Yorubas, the east, the Igbos, then the north, the Arusa Fulanis. Mm -hmm. And then additional states then were also based on this. Okay, we create more states for the north, more states for the east, more states for the west. Now we have 36 states. So this needs to be considered in every appointment, oh, wow. even at this level. Oh. But unfortunately, what we are witnessing now is lopsided appointments. appointments. Okay, I'll come back to you. Now, people are like of the opinion that the Federal Character Commission is moribund during the leap from what is happening in this dispensation. How true is that? Well, everyone is entitled to his own opinion. Um, but for me, like my colleague has said, a system that is intended to work has models, mechanisms, schemes upon which that system ought to work. As we all know, what we are looking for as Nigerians is performance appropriate ability to deliver on the services required. That's what Nigerians want. The reason why we have a lot of commentaries here and there as to dissatisfaction, disaffection among Nigerians when it comes to leadership is the lack of performance over the years. And this lack of performances, as it were, has affected a whole lot of things in the negative, which brings us to where we are. As of today, you and I may not be able to appropriately assess the present system of things because of the depths of non-performance that have accrued over the years to this time. So, whether the Federal Character Commission is moribund or not, it's a whole lot of difficult tasks to unfold because we have not been able to separate the institutions from the individuals. We have not been able to identify the fact that we have a government that is willing and ready to improve the system. Like I said in one of our programs earlier, a lot of us were like, oh, the past government was not performing. He didn't perform. OK, let's change him and expect a better government. Well, I'm sure today most Nigerians will say, ah, I wish you can take us back to Egypt. <laughs> the melon soup <laughs> and the goosey there was far better than we are having now. Oh, Why? Yeah. Because. From what they can see, from what they can observe, it appears that nothing has improved. All right. So, for me, I think let leaders continue to improve on their best to put us at a point where we can have some level of confidence in them. Because in the oh, first place, if you don't have confidence in them, you don't even believe anything they do. Our time is That's up. Our time is up. Our time is up because the pain is giving a strong signal to call it a wrap on this show. Well, uh, uh, 30 seconds to summarize your point about the Federal Character Commission and, of course, questions arising what way forward. Uh, we forward. to do that work effectively. Uh, way, way forward uh, is that uh, mm. they should try to work in line with uh, what Almighty God. Uh, 
has legislated. All right. And what God has legislated is uh, it has nothing to do with uh, tribalism, mm. but that was with federal character. All right. Thank and you. Those who are competent should be allowed to work. Okay. And there shouldn't be nepotism as okay. well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so so much. Of course, uh, Barrister Frank got briefly for the seconds. Well, back to Nigerians and uh, our leaders, as it were. Let's all not forget to know that uh, whatever we sow, we shall reap. Mm. Let's continue to do our best so that uh, someday in the future, we'll reap that beautiful seeds or the fruit of our seeds. Because when you miss it at any front, or at any position, there's mm. nothing you can do about it. You're certainly going to get the rewards of your actions. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. I appreciate your wonderful analysis. Our viewers out there, thank you so much for being a part of it. Bye for now.